Quick disclaimer, when I use the term plugins, this is really an umbrella term that also covers scripts, add-ons, extensions, and all that other good stuff. If you decide that you wanna pick up any of these, I have affiliate links down in the description. Using those really helps support my channel, and I appreciate it. I use Deep Glow on a regular basis. In fact, I probably overuse it on a regular basis. This is a really great tool that requires not a lot of effort. In fact, many times you can just plop it on there and it immediately makes things look a lot better. However, there are a ton of customization options to really tweak in the look. You have aspect ratio controls. You can even add some chromatic aberration. And then of course there's exposure and threshold controls. What I'll do is I'll oftentimes desaturate a map or have like a black and white base map and then add like a subtle glow or sometimes not so subtle glow to like path animations or simple callouts, map markers. A free alternative for this uh, that I see people using is Saber from Video Copilot, so you might wanna go check that out as well. However, when you compare this to AE's internal glow effect, I mean, there's really no competition. So if you're already subscribed to my channel, you're definitely well aware of this tool. It's pretty much the best way to create map animations inside of Adobe After Effects. And there are no real competitors. This is really a very powerful GIS tool. With GeoLayers 3, you can pull geodata from the internet and use it to create shapes and really complex map animations and visualizations. You can get really, really complex data-driven animations, or you can just do something as simple as country borders and simple routes. If you want to learn more about GeoLayers, you can literally watch almost any other video on my channel and I'm releasing a premium course on this particular tool as well, so follow the link in the video description to learn more about that. I recently started using Connect Layers Pro, so I work with a lot of path animations, and this tool is super, super helpful. It essentially allows you to connect layers with dynamic lines, and this includes null objects. You can create rope, spanning tree, triangulation, all these with a single click. And then you can do like a ton of different customization options. So prior to using this, I was using the built-in script to create nulls from paths, which is I still use, it's very, very handy. But if you wanna get really powerful results quickly, this is the tool for you. One of the primary reasons I jumped on board with this tool is because it works with 3D layers. I struggled with this for so long, so I'm very happy that I found this. Go check it out, link in the video description. Big shout out to my tier three patrons, Tyson the Keymaster, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One, Barnes Creative Studios, Josh, and Kroki. Thanks folks for making this video possible. I feel like I'm being quite repetitive here, but this is probably the tool I use most often. If you're unfamiliar with Overlord, it allows you to quickly work between Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. You can essentially grab things in Illustrator and then with one click, send it to Adobe After Effects as a shape layer. I honestly don't know how I did this workflow before, but it required many extra steps and was very much a headache. When you're manually creating maps and working with map vectors, it's really cool to jump back and forth between Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. I specifically like working with the Pathfinder tool, so if I'm creating some custom like country or area of a country, you can use the Pathfinder with shapes instead of Illustrator and quickly customize that, and then quickly shoot it over to Adobe After Effects as a custom shape layer, and then you're ready to rock and roll with your animation. Honestly, if I was limited to just using one tool from this list, it would be GeoLayers. But if I was limited to two tools, the second one would definitely be Overlord. This is a really cool extension where you can purchase packages of different pre-made templates like motion graphics templates. It's really quite vast, all the different elements they have, but I primarily use them for text animations. They also have a bunch of other different random shape animations. They have things like glitches, transitions, callouts. There's even a really cool customizer where you can quickly remove intro and outro animations. And then you can quickly retime some of these animations with markers. It seriously saved me so much time. Wonder is a relatively new tool from Mount MoGraph, and it's incredibly cool and fun. It allows you to quickly search and download endless libraries of GIFs, emojis, SVGs, and different icon packs. Incredibly easy to use. It's especially useful when creating tutorials or sharing things on social media, and you quickly want to add some just ridiculous stuff to your scene. This works with After Effects and Premiere Pro. And as with all the Mount MoGraph products here, there's no subscriptions, it's yours forever, lifetime license, all future updates. I love Mount MoGraph. Go get it. Speaking of Mount MoGraph, their incredibly useful motion extension has recently been updated to version four. And that's pretty cool because the last update was a very long time ago. Just behind GeoLayers and Overlord, I would claim this to be my third most used tool. I love to create custom color palettes and custom animation curves, and I use it all the time to move around my anchor points, clone and reverse keyframes, quickly add trim paths animators to different shape layers, 
If you've ever worked in a really complex geolayers project, you know it can bog down your system really fast. So one thing that I like to do is grab all of the most render intensive layers, put them in a group, so then I can quickly turn off the visibility of that group. And then when I'm ready to render out, I will turn those groups back on, and voila, I'm ready to rock and roll. Now, if you want to pick up any tools from Atmograph, be sure to check out my affiliate links down in the video description, but you can also use promo code BOON to get you a nice little discount. The nice guys over at Plugin Everything created Digit Fiddler, and they say that it helps you fiddle with your digits. I use this tool quite often to help me create like mileage counters, you know, when I'm showing like a, a path animation, someone traveling across a map. Oftentimes someone will ask me that they want to show the miles traveled both in kilometers and in miles, both in metric and imperial. I used to do this before with expressions, but it's quite complex and time consuming to kind of go through that process. Digit Fiddler really helps with this. If you're working with a lot of infographics, this is a really helpful tool. All the tools from Plugin Everything are always top quality. One of the things that I really like to do is to create custom animation presets, and this actually requires writing a lot of custom expressions and code. And I actually got the amazing opportunity this year to create 10 animation presets for the latest version of Adobe After Effects. One thing that you have to do when you're writing expressions in Adobe After Effects is to universalize the expression language, because if someone, for example, in another country using After after Effects in another language wants to use some expressions that I wrote, I need to make them universal in every language. Now this can be very difficult to do manually. That's why I use this tool called Expression Universalizer. It makes the process incredibly easy. For example, you can just universalize an individual layer, specific comps, or your entire project, and it's incredibly fast. This was actually created by Lloyd, the owner of AnyScripts.com, the OG. While I normally use geolayers to put together maps, other times I'm creating animations with pre-existing maps, like beautiful maps from the David Rumsey collection, for example. When I'm working with maps like this, I like to use a tool called Handycam that really makes working with cameras inside of Adobe After Effects incredibly easy. Now, I'm sure you've heard of like the null workflow where you can attach your camera to a null and then yada yada, and it makes it easier to control. Well, Handycam kind of skips over all that, makes it even easier. You can quickly mess with depth of field, do everything straight within the interface, and it makes flying around uh, incredibly easy, especially when you're flying around a map. Sometimes, you know, you just want to fly over, get some nice depth of field, or just do a simple orbit. I actually did a standalone review video of this particular tool because it's so great. If you want to go check that out, I'll link it in the video description. Okay, so there you have it. Those were my most used plugins for 2022. Let me know down in the comments section, what were your favorite tools for this year? I would love to hear it. I always love to learn about new tools. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell.